So Mike Irvin from the YouTube channel Excel is Fun was working on an interesting puzzle. Here in column H we have the products and we're looking for these products in column C but there's a problem. See we're looking here we're looking for sunshine and we see sunshine here and al also here and all the way down we see it many times here as well. So which one is the right one? Well we also have to get the correct region and the correct product group. So for this particular sunshine the region is west and the product group is sunshine group. But as we can see, uh, that this one goes together in this little area right here. So table four, west sunshine group, west sunshine group. So the answer, we look for sunshine in column C within this little table, which we see right here, and our answer should be 0 0.064. So that's a little bit tough because the problem uh, is that we have all these little groups, 36 different little groups. So Mike has used formulas to, uh, to different formulas to pull back the correct answer. Here we have our 0 0.064 and I thought of a different way to do it. So here's my idea. Instead of doing these long formulas, which I do myself many times, I thought about this. What if we just add a couple of helper columns and then we can have just a, a VLOOKUP that will solve it as well. So. I'm just going to clean up a little bit here, delete these guys, and let's start by, let's get rid of that. Okay, so here's what I did. Over here, what I'm basically doing is trying to repeat this yellow area. So the West Freestyle, West Bellin Group, West Beginner Group, all of these group names I want to repeat over here. And uh, then the next step is, in this column, column B, I want to put together the table name or the region and product group, I call it a table name, put that together with the product which is over here in column C. Then I have everything that I need to look for the correct answer. So we'd have all three of these things together. Alright, let's look at how this formula works. First thing is this. This is an if statement. We have three parts. Logical test, value if true, and value if false. If, so let's look at our logical test. Basically we're making the assumption that the table name or the region product um, always has that colon in there. If it doesn't then we do have a problem. But uh, basically we want to extract what is to the right of this space. So there's a little colon, there's a space, and everything to the right all the way down. Then we repeat that. So in this cell we're looking up here. And basically the find function is going to do this. It's going to say, is the colon in there? If it is, we get a number. It's the eighth character within that cell. And then around that we put is number. So what we're getting is true. So if it's true, we do this part of the if statement. And here we're just saying, okay, well find the colon in there. That gives us a number. Press the F9 key on the keyboard. The 8. And then the mid says this. Go to that text, which is C7. Uh, start at 8 plus 1, which is right there where the W is, or actually I think it's the space, and then I just say 100. Pull out 100 characters. Then uh, around all of that, let's just take a look at what it looks like. Highlight this, press the F9 key, it says space West Freestyle. So then I trim it like this, press the F9 key one more time, and that's what we're going to get. Now, if it's false, we get the value above. So when we're down here in the second one, obviously we're not going to find a colon in the word quad. That's, so that's going, this is going to be false, and we're skipping to the last part, which is just repeating uh, that region and product group text above. All right, so this goes all the way down. Now we have the region product group repeating nicely, and over here what we're going to do is put it together. So we're, we're taking this and this and putting it together. Just a little if statement to say, if this is blank, then just leave it as blank. That's what we get here, these, these blanks. Uh, but if it's not blank, we're putting it together, this and this together. Now we can simply do a VLOOKUP over here. I'm going to just hide column A, just so we have a little more room on the screen. Here I'm just going to say equals VLOOKUP. And what, what are we looking for? So we have to put this together the same way we have it over here. We have region underscore product group. So I'm going to say region 
and then I'm just going to build this string like that and I'm going to say product group and I'm also going to put together put the product in there all right we have all of that I put a comma and let's just take this and put it back over here so we can see it better so the next step is our table array I'm going to highlight this go all the way down and then shift right arrow twice now we have the correct uh, area to look at. We're going to look in this column. Our answer will come from column D. So I press the F4 key to lock it. I do a comma. I'm putting a 3 because our answer, uh, let's, B is 1, column B is 1, column C is 2, column D is 3. That's the way we put the 3 in. Comma, and I'm going to put false for exact match. We're not binning. We want to find exactly that. So here is our answer which is the same as all of these answers and we're just going to drag this all the way down. Now, we want to make sure that this is correct. So let's go in here. There's two ways that we could do this. I mean, we know that these are all the same. I could just say L8 equals N8 enter and drag this all the way down and Mike had this just to double check to count to see if we have any false. We don't. And there's one other way that we can check this. What we can do, let's just make this a little bit smaller. Over here, we can do this. It's an interesting way to do it on a, on a small data set. So, standard deviation, and we are going to pick this value, put a comma, and then select these three cells all together. So this will check. Now, if they're all exactly the same, then it, it doesn't deviate at all, so it should be a zero. Now, it is, but let's drag it all the way down and I'm just going to go like this and say sum. If we don't get zero, then we have a problem. We should be getting zero for all of these. Oh, okay. So there is an error down here. So what we can do, I guess just some of the values weren't found. So we'll do this. We'll just say if error, I'm going to go to the end. I'm just going to put a blank. Enter that. And then drag this all the way down. And there we have our zero.